Hey guys, it's Anjanette, and I'm getting ready to do my workout. I haven't done it yet today, but I was going, I just wanted to kind of see where I was and um, what I've been, you know, how I've been doing and because I've had some ups and downs with my workouts in the last um, probably few few months, um, but I just wanted to see how much I've really improved because I'm doing Insanity Max 30 um, and I've been really consistent with it, getting it every day, doing what I'm supposed to do, and then I've added Pio to it. So I wanted to see kind of where I was. So I actually had to go back. I do write everything down, but I haven't been real good with keeping it on a calendar. It was on a notepad when I first did it. And now it's on my calendar that I don't even really use in the kitchen. But um, so I went back, had to find a Facebook post and I started in Sandy Max 30 as soon as it came out in December of 2014. So I had went through the whole month of December in 2014 and I found a post from December 30th, 2014, which is the, obviously the day before New Year's Eve. Um, and this workout was probably the Monday before. And it basically said that I, the, the first workout I do on the week is the cardio challenge. And that's kind of your fit test to see where you are. But really every day is a fit test. Well, that day I was on week four, which was the end of the first set of discs. Um, and I was at 13 minutes and 56 seconds, which is great because it looks like the week before I was at 12 minutes and 48 seconds. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. That's my post. Now. I went to my little calendar because I don't remember the numbers from a day to day because you're doing like five workouts during the week. So I go to my calendar and I started the very first day of Insanity Max 30. I started at 16 minutes, 30 seconds. So I was already beating my time by three minutes. And now I am at 18 minutes and 34 seconds. So I am really, really proud of myself. Um, you know, I, like I said, my nutrition, everything hasn't been consistent. No, it's just, I know everybody always says, well, you're so consistent. You do, you know, I don't, I wish I had your consistency. You're this or that. I am not as consistent as you think. My first year, I was super consistent. The second year, I was like better than most people, but there were days that I missed. There were days that I um, didn't eat right. There were days that I didn't get a workout in. There were some weeks that I didn't get a workout in, but I never let it fall back to where it was like months and months and months. And I just sat on the couch and I'm not going to act like I didn't gain some weight back. I'm not going to act like I didn't lose some strength and some tone. But when you fall off the wagon and you fall off for like months and months or years and years, that's where it gets tough. But when you know in your head that you have a goal and you really know what you really want to do, getting back on the wagon isn't as tough as you think. Um, so to be able to say that in 2014, you know, I started this program, probably if I look back, I probably was like minute eight or something like that. But to be at more than half of a 30 minute program, which is a crazy, crazy program. And at 18 minutes and 34 seconds, and I still have one more week, one more, um, one more Monday of disc one to go through, you know, now I'm going to push myself to at least get to about 22 minutes. If I can get to 25, that'd be awesome. Um, but just telling you that pushing through and think, you know, don't let yourself get in your way. I listened to a podcast from Sean T today and it's like, don't let yourself be the barrier to what you can do. You see me be consistent. And then I talk to people that want me to coach them and say, how can I do this? And I'm saying, all you have to do is find 30 minutes in your day. Oh, I can't find 30 minutes. My kids have this. I got to do this. I got to do. No, you're in your own way. Get out of your own way. Get up off the couch. If you're doing a beach body program, push play. Stop making excuses because all that's going to happen is you're going to continue to be one giant excuse. So right now I don't have any excuses. I need to get my workout in and, um, you know, push. And so today I'm actually trying to beat my Tabata time, which I actually do twice a week. And so 1410 starting from 10 minutes and 14 seconds. So I've got to get over at least that 15 minute mark. Um, Tabata's tough, but I'm going to push through and I'm going to do what I can do because I'm not going to get in my own way. I'm not going to get in my own head and I'm going to push myself beyond where I think that I can. So get on this journey, push yourself. Don't take the easy way out. Don't just don't take the easy way out. Do what needs to happen because when you take the easy way out, when you slip off that wagon, 
it's even harder to get back on. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully I'll have an update and I may do a live um, broadcast today, just kind of motivational today since I didn't get it in yesterday. So for those of you that watch Empire, Empire was awesome last night. So um, I didn't get it in before Empire last night, but I'm going to try and get it in today. Talk to you guys later. Bye.